Where are you at, Mr. Leviathan? Jesus. Hell of an impact. I realized, hey, I guess I can go a little faster. This is all known territory. Whenever I don't know exactly where I am, I'm definitely going in stealth mode because I don't know what'll happen. Spooky. I keep thinking each of these waterfalls is going to be the one that the Leviathan was at. I keep being wrong. There it is. Okay. Slow down. These guys are spooky, but they're manageable. Especially with quiet mode as a feature. Oh boy. Are you hostile right now? Coming straight at me. I don't feel comfortable being lit up in here because I'm like, it can see me. It can see me in here. I don't like it. on, please. Engine powering up. They seem to have made silent running exceptionally effective. That's out of range of my radar? What the hell? That's spooky and uncomfortable. I don't like the idea of it being that close and not being on the map. Coming towards me, but not... I don't think he's mad at me. I think he's just hunting. That's enough silent running. Book it! Vroom! getting out of here. Alright, well that was an experience. Hello, that was a weird cave that had one asshole in it. Gotta keep it in mind though, because it, it had a vertical drop. It was worth keeping in mind. We might need to go there later. But I got more places on this floor I want to explore. Here's the alien facility. As long as the warpers don't suddenly surprise me, we should be largely fine. I'm wondering if the warpers are not a threat. I said before they haven't really attacked me ever in this thing. But now I'm noticing that the, uh... I thought this thing detects leviathans. I thought that was its point. But now I know that the, uh... The crab squid shows up on this thing and it's not a leviathan, but it does attack it. And now, I'm, now I've seen that the ampule shows up on this thing? And the ampule's not a leviathan at all. So if it's if they're not leviathans and they show up on this thing, then this thing must just show threats. Which I think might be the terminology it used to explain what it shows in the first place. But I just kind of assumed that it shows leviathans because they're huge. But it's true, it, it doesn't show reef packs. But reef packs aren't worth, worth noting. We're at half right now. I just want to swap some of these out. I'm surprised only one of them is at zero. The six is low enough. Frankly. There we go. We're back at over a thousand. I'm hearing roars. Not fond of all these roars. You roaring at me? What's roaring at me? 
Are you leaning? Calm down. Oh yeah, back to having this turned off. I don't like it turned on. Whoa, look at him go. I wonder if it was doing that thing where it like rockets around? I don't know. It might just be how fast it can swim if it wants to. It was that way, right? Yeah, that's the way. I want to check out that direction. Engine powering up. I think this might point me back towards... And this, this is bad science, <laughs> but... Going off of the location of Cave Base Red, I'm thinking this might be how I find my way to the, uh... Jesus. I'm fine, I guess. A new radio message? This biome contains unusually high concentrations of organic and fossilized remains. Engine powering down. Okay. A radio is just titanium and copper, same amount as a beacon. Okay, let's turn the light on. <laughs> For all of our sakes. I can just craft a radio. And then, dis and then dismantle it, because I don't want it to be consuming power, which I feel like it might be doing. One might wonder how I even know that there's a transmission if I don't have a radio, but... Whoa, that's a weird angle. Okay. Cool story. <laughs> uh. Any translation of my audio log thing? All right, cool. I have no idea. Good to know. Glad we stopped for that. <laughs> Something to try to communicate with me. Maybe it's a warper. Maybe it's the alien systems. Maybe it's anything else. Yeah, based on the direction of cave base red is in, I think this might be where I needed to use the orange tablet. It might connect to that direction. If we run with the assumption that these are all one interconnected series of places. Which I'm hoping it is, because I don't want to... If I'm already down here again, I don't really want to go all the way back around and go all the way back to that trench thing I was in and then go all the way to the bottom of it again in a sea moth because this thing doesn't fit down there. So if I can find my way there from here, that'd be a nice little shortcut. This place looks interesting. Like a series of mesas or something. Slowing down because this area is pretty cramped. Look how big those ribs are. Like astonishingly huge. And now all the moss, now all the foggy gas at the bottom is all covering my, 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 uh, oh, there's another one. All the gassy, foggy stuff is covering up my holograms, for reasons. Kind of need to go up, to, just to get about past this. Cave also goes that way, which is not where he is. Give that a go for now. Calm down, Jesus. Whoa, look at the giant head. That is cool looking. I should see if I can at least scan the actual skeleton or something.
now. That's a sound. I don't like that sound. I'm going back over here now. <laughs> I don't like bad sounds. Bad sounds are bad. Giant guys are in the middle. He's really hugging the head. See where this takes us. I keep seeing like micro caves in a bunch of directions. Like I wouldn't even know how to explore half of them. Well, I mean, I know how to explore them. I mean, like I don't know how to. I'd keep track of them all, or if they're worth it. There's just like small, like cavities here and there, in all these different directions. Oh. Hey, look, it's what I don't want to see. Cool. Huh. I can maybe go around it. It's starting to look really crowded around here. All the more reason to think I might be right about where I think I'm going, actually. this looks more in line with how crowded it was in Seamoth territory. I'm not really psyched about driving my, cycl my cyclops through here. It's maybe a bad idea. Ah. That might be it. Engine powering down. That might be it. I think I'm going to risk taking my Let's eat first. These things grow so fast. I feel like I've eaten that thing four times today, in its entirety. I think I'm gonna take my prawn suit. Oh boy. It's not land in the weird stuff. I said that's not land in the weird stuff. No! Okay. Is this the same one, is the question. And also, can I get in and out of here without finding a crab squid? I lost track of where that one was, which makes me extra not happy. Oh, those are bladders. Nuclear reactor fragment. Oh shit. The lore. <laughs> Is this my chance at long last? Is that another one? Oh my god. Hey, the nuclear reactor fragments. I was wondering where the hell those were. And this was my chance to find deep shrooms before, I guess. God, 
Gotcha. <laughs> Don't you threaten me with your growls. I'm already 200 meters away. What is that? Ah, four of the same. I'm going back because I, re I realized my mistake. Did you catch my mistake? I caught my mistake. You didn't grab the tablet, stupid. It's kind of the crux of the whole situation. Poop, poop, poop. I don't know which ones I'll need. We'll find out. I, I think I successfully found my way there-ish. I don't know if I'll find it or not. I definitely want to be in a vehicle in case I find something bad. That gives me the chance to switch to the stasis rifle when I get attacked or something, as opposed to just getting eaten or something. Also, I'm just more afraid if I'm not in a vehicle. So my issue is this looks a lot like it's probably the right place. Except that I don't know where the fuck I'm going. The Cyclops being left behind here is actually handy because I can go back to the Cyclops when I'm done. Yeah, this is the... Yeah, it's, it's vertical like before. This is probably the same place. I think. There must be like an alternate entrance? Oh, fuck. Do not aggro. Are you attacking me right now or what? Go away. I think if that might or might not be the ampule I know about. If it is the ampule I know about, then I probably have to go downhill from there. Which I think is this direction. Well, that's fucking terrifying. Uh, <laughs> I really wish I had my sea moth right now. Shit. I can't see. There's a warper down there. So vertical here. What the fuck? You literally can't see down there. Dude. I don't know if this is the right place or not. Ah. Ah. I hate this. I don't know if I can get back out if I go down there. Like, look how vertical it is. Maybe eventually, with between the thrusters and the grappling hook, I can get back up. But I can't. I literally can't see down there. Shit. I think I have to give up. It's like blue over here. Why is it like so... Why is it literally black in this direction? I 
I do feel like it was down that hole that I got there. I don't know. Ah, uh, this is where a map would come in handy, huh? <laughs> If I just knew where I was. This is why I should have put a beacon there. Why I've been both so beacon happy lately. Uh oh. That was a that was a bad sound. Oh boy. Oh boy. I'm under attack. Oh, here it is. Thanks, Mr. Reaper. Fuck you. Cool. This is this way, not the other hole. Yeah, here's where I was. I'm being attacked by a Reaper right now, aren't I? Shit. I can hear it warping around. That was the Reaper that attacked me the first time. He's aggressive. He likes to attack me. Here we are. Ah, I'm very- I'm half a kilometer from the don't die. Jesus Christ. You cover ground fast in this game, I guess. I've got to navigate at this thing. I think this thing's better at getting me to not die. Like, it's a better- a better tank vehicle, so I can feel safer in it, but it's- it, it's, uh... I mean, it's obviously less maneuverable than the freaking the uh, sea moth. I'm sure there's some cool speedrun videos of people using the jetpack and the boosters to like really get around, but uh, overall, it's clearly less maneuverable. Even if people have found a way to be cool at it or something. Because the normal vehicle just fucking flies, and fast. Wow, like a tank- this vehicle must be so tanky if it takes that long to repair. I got hit by a, a warper and it took like 8% damage, which seems low. Hello. This is really small. <laughs> Is this an ancient specimen? The amoeboid's still alive in there? I feel like this is where the developers could show their uh, prototype creatures that they didn't put in the final game if they wanted to. Alien bone specimens. Data download? Cool. There's a few of these guys. Calm down with the sounds. There's like an alien roaring and shit's going down. Oh, these things are making sounds I don't like. Alien research equipment. What's that? Oh, hey. Another one of these guys. Hey, buddy. If I put them in there together, can they breed now? Crab clock help. Can I take a sample? Nope. That ain't happening. These things sound like they're roaring because like they keep making the grinding noise right behind me and I'm like, what's happening over there? Calm down. I don't like it. Alright. So we got another we got another cuttlefish. But largely it depends how much of a good find this was depends on how useful ion cubes are, like why why I need so many of them. And then also uh how good how good the the data download might have been, the lore and whatnot. Let's get back into our airbag. Alright. Well it's a good thing I didn't hop on that hole, huh? Blueprints? Reactor rod for the nuclear power reactor.
Where is it hiding? There we go. Nuclear reactor. Just writing these down. There we go. Nuclear reactor and reactor rod. You need really normal shit to build. Interesting. I should have checked the reactor rod when I was there. I was debating whether I should write it down at the time. Okay, that's where the so that's where the uridite crystals are for. As you might kind of predict, you use them to make the rods for the nuclear reactor. That's more or less why you put uranium in a game. Well, there we go. Now I just need to haul ass back. If I can make it. Oh, I can walk on this, can I? Not for very long. It looks like it's not going to clear. So I just need to go in a straight line and I'll get back to my base. I can see where my Cyclops is, thankfully, because of the don't die waypoint. But also, the, the main risk I need to worry about is that I need to survive. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. That's not a good feeling. Okay. So the amp eel's probably a risk. But above all else, I need to worry about whether or not I can get past the uh, warper. Which can rip me out of my suit, I believe. The warper's on the top right. I should hug left. Just to stay out of range if I can. Cool, you're hugging left. Cool, thanks. Nope. 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 You running away? Cool, it didn't do anything to me, really. Uh, I think that's me not being under attack. I'm pretty sure that's just the game being a dick with music. Don't get stuck right now. Trying to get through here before the warper notices me. That was scary. And also, don't forget, on top of everything fucking else, there's a crab squid around here. Ugh. Everything's here. I don't like it. I haven't seen him, though, since that first glance, which just makes it weirder. I don't know how they always disappear on me, the crab squids. I do not like how there's a beast sound in the soundtrack. That should not be there. There should not be, like, organic sounding... Be like... There should not be organism sounds in the soundtrack of a zone. It's like a lion's growl or something. Yeah, I was, a. Uh, I got surprised by it coming straight at me, so I got a little distracted, but I was getting ready to pop out and use my stasis rifle to freeze the, uh... uh no! Oh, swear to God. Get me in there. I guess I'll just hang here for a bit. It is so hard to get into this thing sometimes. Get back in there. There we go. Uh. Oh my god. I felled it one strike. There we go. We're back. We're safe. Everything went fine. Let's read some documents. Yeah. My ultimate victory. No sign of crab squid right now? Let's check. Hunting tower. No? Alright, well that's er that's every direction checked except the one that had a weird glowy thing in it. So I, I guess I'll check that out next. Cool. We're quickly exploring this place. I haven't looked at table coral, even though I use it constantly. Each disc is an individual colony of microorganisms, microorganisms filtering nutrients from the water. 
Growth patterns indicate the colonies are in direct competition for positions with, uh, with superior current or light. Unlike other coral specimens, its structure is malleable, softly pulsating as it pumps nutrients to its extremities, and only turning rigid when it senses physical assault. The jewel-like nodes in the surface are concentrated buildups of rare materials the coral is unable to process. Assessment exploitable at computer chip fabrication. The trip that that's... Apparently the coral's moving? It's not static? 